Hello, I'm Chris Ryder, a senior sales engineer with J.R. Smith Manufacturing Company, and I'm going to talk to you today about the new J.R. Smith Figure 1005 and Figure 1605 siphonic roof drains. Siphonic drainage has been in use since the early 1970s and has been successfully used throughout Europe for many years. It is, however, relatively new to the United States. J.R. Smith is the first American company to design manufacture and market a siphonic roof drain. As you can see, our siphonic roof drain looks much like a traditional drain. It has a cast iron body, a cast iron flashing clamp, and a polyethylene dome, just like our regular roof drain. You will notice that the body does not have much of a sump, which is not needed in a siphonic drain. The most noticeable difference is the air baffle. The figure 1005 and 1605 with their unique air baffles have been engineered and tested to inhibit the admission of air into the piping system and stop the vortex uh, and produce a more linear flow. This allows them, when used with a properly designed siphonic drainage system, to prime and sustain a full bore siphonic flow during periods of heavy rainfall. The principle of the siphon has been recognized for ages. A siphon is created by placing one end of a tube or pipe into a container filled with fluid and the other end of the tube into another container at a lower point than the inlet. Once flow is induced, usually by a suction to start the fluid moving and to prime or fill the tube with fluid, gravity takes over and continues to draw the fluid through the pipe. This effect is known as a siphon. The effects of gravity on the fluid inside the tube will continue to draw it from one container to the other as long as air does not enter the tube and as long as the outlet remains below the inlet. In a typical siphon, the tubing is normally in the shape of an inverted U, as I show here. However, it really doesn't matter how the piping is oriented uh, as long as the outlet stays below the inlet. So this could actually form a loop-de-loop -loop and still work. Also, the greater the elevation difference between the inlet of the tube uh, and the outlet of the tube, the faster the water will flow through the tube. With the aid of the air baffle on a siphonic drain, this same principle can be applied to a roof drainage system. However, in the case of a roof drainage system, since the piping only drops downward, the priming process occurs naturally without the aid uh, of a suction to initiate it. A properly designed siphonic roof drainage system will completely fill up or prime with water and initiate a siphonic flow within as little as 15 seconds, naturally without any suction or manipulation other than the air baffle on the roof drain. To understand the, si the advantages of a siphonic drainage system over a traditional drainage system, we need to compare the two systems. First, let's look at a traditional system. In a traditional system, uh, it is an open system, meaning the air is always present and there is very little, if any, pressure change throughout the system. As a result, the pipe is usually only half full of water, even during periods of heavy rainfall. The rest is full of air. This creates basically a channel flow, much like a trench drain, instead of utilizing the full area of the piping. Horizontal flow in a traditional system is induced by sloping or pitching the horizontal pipe downward, usually at 1 8 inch per foot minimum. The capacity of a traditional drainage system is limited to the size of the drain and the depth of the water buildup or head pressure on the roof. A traditional system often requires several vertical drops, uh, which normally run together underneath the building's foundation uh, into, a very, into very large horizontal pipes, which then carry it to the storm drainage system. Traditional roof drainage is the most common, but the least efficient form of storm drainage. Now let's look at a siphonic system. A siphonic system is a closed system, meaning that the airflow is shut off by the air baffle, causing the piping system to completely fill with water. When the piping system primes, it depressurizes, meaning the water pressure through the system is reduced uh, due to the effect of gravity on the vertical drops. 
When this occurs, atmospheric pressure begins to push the water into the drains with a force of 14.7 uh, pounds per square foot. The capacity of a siphonic system is deter determined by the piping system itself and the height of the roof drain above the point of discharge. Therefore, a siphonic system makes full use of gravity in the vertical drop. Without the presence of air, water is drawn through the piping system much faster than the channel flow of a traditional system. Since the piping primes and operates 100% full, or full bore as we say, the same amount of water can be carried off the roof through smaller piping at higher velocities. This can reduce the cost of the piping system by up to 40 to 50% over a traditional system. Also, since flow velocity is independent of the pipe orientation, the pipes are laid completely flat, allowing greater flexibility in design and easier installation. Also, the ability to run the piping flat allows it to be easily installed in the ceiling, reducing or eliminating the trenching and excavation underneath the slab. Finally, higher velocities, nearly 100 times that of, the, of a traditional system, means that a siphonic system is also self-cleaning. Our siphonic roof drains install and use the same accessories as our standard roof drains. The J.R. Smith siphonic roof drains can be used with standard pipes such as cast iron, ductile iron, steel, stainless steel, copper, HDPE, ABS, and PVC. It does, however, require the use of, of uh, pressure-rated heavy-duty couplings. As I stated before, J.R. Smith manufactures two types of siphonic roof drains. The figure 1005 standard roof drain, uh, which is available in 2 inch through 4 inch size, and the smaller 1605 gutter drain, which is available in only 2 inch. Although any building or structure can benefit from siphonic roof drainage, siphonic systems are especially ideal for low rise buildings with large footprints, such as airport terminals, aircraft hangars, covered malls, office complexes, factories, convention centers, warehouses, train stations, retail stores, and distribution centers. J.R. Smith siphonic drains meet or exceed the performance requirements of ASME A112.6.9, and they are UPC approved. J.R. Smith siphonic drains, especially when used in conjunction with a rainwater harvesting system, can aid greatly in achieving LEED certification through innovative design, reduction of materials, reduced site disturbance and runoff, and reduced water consumption. So, if you're looking for a roof drainage system that allows greater flexibility of design, that is more efficient than a traditional system, and will save money in labor and materials, J.R. Smith, figure 1005, or 1605, should be your drain of choice. For more information on these and other J.R. Smith products, visit our website at jrsmith.com. Have a great day and thank you for your time.